Welcome back to another episode of Out Loud Geek, where we discuss news and views about pop culture, science fiction, fantasy, food, cooking, the outdoors, and more. Universal Pictures' The Super Mario Brothers movie has had an incredible second weekend at the box office. Not only is it the number one movie at the box office domestically again, none of the other films that are currently out, including two that opened in theaters this weekend, came anywhere near close to the $87 million that the film earned domestically this weekend. But that's not even the biggest news for this movie. Thanks to huge earnings during the weekdays, when combined with the second weekend's $87 million domestic box office, the Super Mario Bros. movie has earned a total of $347.8 million domestically. But internationally, the film has earned another $151.1 million, which when combined with its international opening box office of $173 million, the Super Mario Brothers movie has earned $330.1 million internationally. So globally, this means that the movie has earned $678 million, which means that it's the highest grossing movie for 2023 to date. This totally puts Disney and Marvel to shame as the Super Mario Brothers movie has earned $200 million more than Ant-Man on the Wasp Quantumania, which totally flopped at the box office. But not only that, this movie is doing so well at the box office, I'm convinced that it will surpass $1 billion within the next two to three weeks. That's because globally, the $300.4 million that the movie's total box office increased this week is a drop of only 20.46% from opening weekend's $377.6 million. So if we project a very optimistic 20.46% week-to-week drop in global box office earnings going forward, then the movie could potentially earn close to $1.9 billion. But more realistically, that 20.46% will likely drop slightly from week to week. So if we allow that percentage to increase to 40% by week 8, then the movie's final box office earnings could be as high as $1.19 billion. Now, it's important to bear in mind that these projections are not taking the opening of the movie in Japan and South Korea in two weeks into account. Those two markets are probably going to be very strong and will push the film's final box office up quite a bit, though I don't know by how much. Currently, the nine highest grossing animated movies of all time each earned over $1 billion, with Disney's 2019 movie Frozen 2 at the top since it earned around $1.44 billion during its theatrical run. 2013's Disney movie Frozen and 2018's Incredibles 2 earned around $1.26 and $1.24 billion globally, respectively, during each of their theatrical runs. So it is entirely conceivable that the global box office earnings for the Super Mario Bros. movie could potentially surpass those of Incredibles 2 and the original Frozen movie. And if that happens, Disney and Pixar should feel absolutely ashamed of themselves because they are clearly far more interested in pushing woke agendas in their movies than in making movies that simply entertain. And that brings me to Paramount's movie, Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves. This movie was apparently doomed even before it opened. Not only is there apparently not that much interest in movies based on the game Dungeons & Dragons among the general public, it's writers and producers admitting that the movie emasculates its lead male characters days before the movie opened in theaters likely had an adverse effect on its opening weekend box office, which was a paltry $70.1 million globally. Domestically, the movie's box office plummeted 63% from its opening weekend to its second weekend. And now its domestic box office has plummeted another 47% from its second weekend to its third. Globally, the movie has only earned $157.1 million to date, which is a drop that's just under 39% from its second weekend global box office earnings. In a video that I released a week ago, I projected that Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves could potentially earn around $257 million if its global box office dropped gradually from its second weekend drop of around 23% to 40% over a period of several weeks. Well, it dropped to nearly 40% in only one week. So if I project that same drop going forward from this week, 
then Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves may earn around $209 million globally, which isn't much more than the $175 million that I projected two weeks ago if the movie had dropped by 40% continuously from week to week. Because of the film's overly expensive $150 million production budget, it needs to earn around $375 million to break even, which is the value obtained by multiplying the film's production budget by 2.5 to account for the 50% of ticket sales that movie theaters keep for themselves, as well as the studio's additional estimated costs for marketing the movie. Obviously, there's no way that this movie can break even, which is essentially what I had said in a video that I had released two weeks ago when the movie opened with only $70.1 million globally. Right now, it's hard to say whether the movie will even break $200 million globally, because if the movie's box office drop exceeds 39% next week, it might not. We'll have to wait and see how much the movie earns next weekend before a new projection can be made, but at this point, I won't be surprised if the movie doesn't break $200 million. Thanks for watching today, and a huge thanks to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button, and please feel free to share a comment. If you'd like to see more of our videos in the future and help support this channel, please press the red subscribe button and please press the bell to receive notifications for new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking on the links in the description. Until next time, this is Out Loud Geek.